Before we proceed further in this section and in this course, I also want to talk about a very important concept of a function in JavaScript and that is the arguments parameter of a function. So what is the arguments parameter of a function? Every regular function receives a parameter by default in JavaScript called as arguments parameter. And this parameter stores all the arguments passed to a function inside an array. Let's try to understand it with an example. For that, here I have created a simple function called addition, which is taking two parameters, x and y. Now, when we will call this function, we need to pass the value for x and y for this function. So let's pass 10 and 20. Now, what this addition function is going to do? It is going to add the sum of x and y, basically the value which we are passing for this x and y parameter, and it is going to return it. So here, if I go ahead and if I log the value returned by the addition function, if I save the changes, it has logged 30. So the sum of 10 and 20 will be 30. So it is working as expected. Now, let's say to this function, I don't pass any parameter. To this addition function, I don't pass any parameter. And from here also, let's not return the value of x and y. Instead, let's log something. Let's log maybe addition function called. Okay. And if I save the changes, you will notice that it says addition function called. And then it is also logging undefined because from this addition function, we are not returning anything. So by default, undefined will be returned. And that has been logged here. Now here this addition function does not take any parameter but by default as we learned every function in JavaScript every function which we have created using regular function syntax or function expression syntax that receives an argument by default called as arguments. So here if I go ahead and if I try to log arguments this arguments is an object it is an array like object. And in this arguments, we are going to receive all the arguments which we are passing while calling that function. So if I save the changes, you will see that here we have this arguments object. And it is basically an array which stores all the arguments which we are passing for this addition function. So you can see at 0th index, it is storing 10 and at first index, it is storing 20. And it also has this length property that tells how many arguments we have passed for that function. So even though we are not taking any parameters here for this addition function, if we are passing any argument to that function, we can get those arguments by using this arguments property, this arguments object. Okay. So if I pass some other arguments, let's say some string value, if I save the changes, you will see that now the length of this arguments is 3 and at the 0th index we have 10, at the first index we have 20, at the second index we have hello. So one use case where we can use this arguments object is let's say we want to create a function which can add n number of values. For example, let's say here if I pass 10, 20 and 30, I want to use this addition function to add these three numbers. If I pass four numbers, then it should be able to add four numbers. Okay, so to this addition function, let's say we want to pass n number of arguments and we want to add all those numbers. So for that, we can use this arguments object here. So what we can do is we know that this arguments is an array. So here we can use for loop and let's create a variable. Let's call it i and let's store it with initial value zero then let's say i should be less than arguments dot length and then we are going to increment the value of i so basically what we want is we want to loop over this arguments array and here let's create a variable let's call it sum and initially let's assign it with the value zero and now we are looping over that arguments array which we receive by default for each function and there what we are going to do is we are going to say some plus equals arguments of i. So when the value of i is 0 for this first call, 
this arguments of i will be 10 sum is 0 so sum equals sum plus 10 it will be 10 for the second iteration when the value of i will be 1 the arguments of i will be 20 and the current value of sum is 10 so again we are saying sum equals sum plus 20 so 10 plus 20 will be 30 so the current value of sum is 30 for the third iteration when the i will be 2 arguments of 2 will return 30 and the current value of sum is 30 so sum plus equals arguments of i will be 30 plus 30 equals 60 so if i save the changes here we also need to return the value of sum so let's say return sum if i save the changes now so for the first call the sum of 10 20 and 30 is 60 and for the second call the sum of 10 20 30 and 40 is 100 so this is one use case where when we want to handle n number of arguments for a given function we can use this arguments object okay so i just wanted to talk about this arguments object because it is something which might be useful in some use cases for example just now we talked about one use case where we want to use a function to add n number of numbers now one very important point to remember here is that this arguments object you will get only for regular functions of function expression so for example if i create a variable let's call it addition and here we are going to create this addition function using function expression syntax let's save the changes and everything should still be working so in case of function expression also we get this arguments object but if i use arrow function for the arrow function we don't get arguments object so in arrow function we cannot use arguments object because this arrow function does not get arguments object if i save the changes now you will see that we have an error and it says arguments is not defined so inside this arrow function when we are trying to use arguments there we are getting this error because the arrow function does not get arguments object only the regular function and function expression gets the argument object and this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture i briefly wanted to talk about this arguments object and i wanted to also mention that this arguments object is only available for function expression and regular function syntax it is not available for arrow function syntax this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day